वेलकम टू गोवा Hi guys, what's up and welcome to Karal Stories and we are in Goa right now. Okay, so this time we travel from Bangalore to Goa and the road is super good. So people who are traveling uh from Bangalore, uh just do a road trip. It's amazing. Uh it's like a six lane road and I drove most of the part and I just felt good. Uh, and uh for the first time ever uh after like so many stays so many times in goa we are staying in complete uh, north goa it's not kandolim or any party places we are staying in mandrem beach near mandrem beach which is you know near arambol and uh, morjim uh, which is like very peaceful so for two days we are staying here and the property which we are staying is stone wood resort i'll show you guys you have to wait for that it's just amazing So yes it's all about Goa this new year and uh, as i told in my previous vlog uh, we missed lot of things because of the incident which happened to Tarak we had to do the bike trip for 16 to 17 days and everything got cancelled yeah it was disappointing but again we are so lucky that he is just fine and uh, we traveled from to Bangalore and then we met so many friends and then from there we are here in Goa just to chill out yes stay tuned you'll see lot of fun videos and if you're new you know what to do just subscribe to our channel and that's all enjoy Good morning. How is it? <laughs> Yesterday nice we slept early. <laughs> Even in December, Goa still got the heat, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. Last time we were tired, so we slept right. So today we'll explore. But let's have breakfast. I'm hungry. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's what he said, and that's what it happened yesterday. Uh, last night, I literally slept on the beach. <laughs> We went to Arambol Beach, so you have a lot of Western country people or Russians and all over there. Uh, it's kind of calm, so we went there. Uh, it's like what ten thirty, and I slept. I slept on the chair because I was so tired. So we came back. We slept early, and we had a very good sleep. Actually, it's eight thirty. This is the sunlight on my face. Oh my god, it's so nice. Spread. This is the spread which which they have, and these are the desserts. I expected a lot, but yeah, there are only two desserts and uh, bread slice and. We ordered for masala omelette. Yeah, not great spread, I would say, but okay. Ha huh. so that's our property this whole thing so they just have the you know wood houses and the cottages so this is the first cottage we got so if you see in the background 
So those are all cottages. So there's no normal rooms. So it's only the cottages. So let's go in and check. I wish that I could show you how. It's the cute sit out and this is the room. It's good for two people. Uh, I actually liked it. But uh, rather than room, uh, the property is really good. Uh, they have the pool. It's just spread of us. And the pool is good. Neat and everything is good. The service is good. And also the breakfast is like okay-ish. I didn't like that much. Uh, but good enough. Uh, pretty decent, I would say. And right now we are going for lunch. So when it comes to food places, we try to ask local people. We try local food and we have few of Goan friends, so we ask them as well. So one of our friends suggested a uh, lunch place in Siolim, which is quite near by. So we'll go have lunch there. So you reach for your phone. You need to see yourself in good light. Good light's the only way I can see. All right, all right, all right. Just finished that heavy lunch in Race Corner. So this place was actually suggested by one of our friends. This is the place we're trying for the first time. And uh, this is in Mopsa. So definitely a place you can check out. It's like uh, proper local Goan food. And especially the seafood is amazing. Like I tried the Kingfish Thali. It's really worth for the 320 what they charged. And uh, even their prawns is good. I tried another fish called soul fish. It's also called as lepo. Uh, but again, you know, Alika, she was not into seafood, so she tried some fried rice, chicken fried rice. So that's not what you should be eating at this place. So if you're coming to this place, definitely you should try their seafood. It's really amazing. And uh, even the pricing is really good. So yeah, definitely a place to check out in your next trip to go. This is Ashwam Beach. It's actually peaceful, very peaceful. No crowd. <laughs> it's not like Kandolim or Baga Beach or anything. So Mandram, Ashwam, Anambol, all these are like pleasant beaches in North Goa. So if you don't want to go to South Goa, just come here. This is really good. See, there's no one around actually. And we came around 8 o'clock. So if you come during sunrise, then it's more good. So yeah. Let's go to the room.
we are in panaji and we traveled all the way 30 kilometers or more than that to just to eat just to eat goan thali special goan thali in kokni canton the uh, if you know panaji like the fontana streets yes this is in one of the street the kokni canton and look at the crowd there is lot of waiting outside as well as, as well as inside and yeah we will try goan thali and uh, see there is a lot of hype for this place and there is also 4.5 rating in zomato as well and uh, our goan friends suggested this place too so yeah let's go and uh, yeah this is my look for the day don't worry and I, i was actually trying for natural curls and this is the only option which i got right now so i'll keep it till evening and then remove it let's see if i get the natural curls or not But again, yeah. Let me show you. There is a waiting here. Yeah, that's how busy this place is. So do not miss this place. We'll go inside. We'll have their food. He'll try the thali. Probably even I'll try the thali. Uh, let's see. After one hour waiting, we got the table. I'm drinking fenny for the first time. Kaju fenny. Kaju. This is chonak, the rubber fry. He is making me eat the rubber fry as well, but the taste is good. So soft. No smell. The taste is thali, goan thali, and rice. Show me the fish. Where is the fish? Tawa fry fish. Tawa fry fish. This prawns curry, I think. Yeah, it's a mix of it's like their curry. This is a fish curry. Fish curry. And what this is? Those are veg. And this is the liquid which they give out. Yeah. Sweet one. Yeah. It's a salad and a pickle. That's the only word I can say, but very tasty. So you know that we entered this Kokni Canton, and uh, there is a reason why this place is busy, and the reason is because of the food. Food is amazing, guys, and like definitely if you're here in Goa and you're coming for the first time, or you're coming multiple times here as a tourist, definitely check out this place. This is the first time we're trying, so though we've been to Goa so many times, and I'll tell you, this food is amazing, um, and probably this is like. um a place where everybody can enjoy it's it's not too spicy but the seafood is really fresh and somebody who skipped seafood yesterday i had a lot here, of things she had a lot of seafood today she had no, the rava fry the she, tawa she had the tawa fresh fry she had rava fry of uh, prawn rava fry of fish and then she had a masala fry of prawns uh, but she did she also had chicken shakuti um but she didn't have the thali which i had the kingfish thali so yeah it was really good overall the bill was about 2700 something so which which is not bad considering the seafood and the number of things that we had and it's uh, a must place to try it is definitely a place that you should come and check out and uh, yeah that's that's about it so where are we heading next let's go to the room probably we'll go to the room right now relax for a bit and then go see some other places here in goa ciao so let's ride it well my hands and see i wish that i could show you how Oh my god it's super full in Baba Orung that's one of our favorite cafe in Goa 
and you should also if you're going to goa just make a note of that uh, cafe it's like always waiting one and a half hour waiting and it's in anjuna and also they opened a new branch in vegara so do try that so this is our second stay which we are you know which is in kandolim uh, the previous one is in mandrim beach uh, this is in kandolim this is just a normal uh, room uh, it's a budget room because usually uh, during new years you don't get proper rooms actually so you have to spend a lot of uh, money on that but yeah we had we came we rested and right now we are going to panaji panjim and uh, we'll go to again another favorite one cafe de janario and uh, a new one uh, joseph bar that's the oldest bar in Pan- panjim it's a small one you just have it a roadside bar i wanted to try always but again some of we miss it but yeah that's in like fontana street so we'll go there and we'll try to go to casino as well we'll see uh, if you know uh, ideally for casinos uh, you are supposed to wear shoes but uh, tara can't wear shoes so we'll try to go there and ask them but yeah see you there This is another favorite place. Mm-hmm. This is one of my favorite uh, eatables. It's the prawn and sardina. So, <clears throat> two of our favorite drinks are like one is avocado and one is milk coffee. We got a scoop. I just uploaded a video even though I'm traveling I have to yeah so that's about the Joseph part uh i really wanted to go from long time but uh, i didn't have time you know a lot of other stuff to do but this you know this trip we are just chilling and all so we went to that joseph bar it's like very old one and it's just like you know uh, there is a very limited seating it's closed and rustic uh, bar they have uh, non alcohol drinks alcohol drinks and little snacks not too much of uh, on food side and yeah you have seen it's so beautiful you can just sit on the road side and you can have fun it's kind of a neighborhood bar and also you that bar is actually famous for fenny and you know brewing beers and uh, there's some uh, in house uh, rosa you can try that if you're actually going there so yeah i i just liked it uh, the place and the vibe it's so small and it's really good Uh, if you're visiting fontana you can just try this place and yeah this is my room yeah this is the one pretty decent so yeah it's almost night we'll just have fun roam around uh, on the streets and tomorrow it's new year let's wait for that Happy New Year guys happy new year now by the time i upload this video we all will be in new year but again happy new year have a safe and enjoy this year stay healthy and uh, you know we party crazy last night uh, it was super crazy it was i think the one of the best party we have had actually yesterday and yeah of course it's breakfast time today and it's new year new things new resolutions and all so we'll have our breakfast and that's it for the goa trip for uh, goa and new year of for after five years so we really enjoyed we are there for like a week 
think he enjoyed. Of course, I did enjoy. It's New Year, guys. Come on, New Year's probably the best place in India is gone. That's the reason we are here. Five years, lots of memories, but crazy party last night. So most of the tourists now shifted. Like you know, what we observed is not a lot of people are partying nowadays in Kandolim and this side where we usually stay. Uh, but most of them right now are going towards Anjana and Bagatol. So that's where the party scene is, and it was fun. Uh, I would say places are not fully packed like what used to be before, like a couple of years back. But still okay. But still Goa is probably the best place in India to come and party for New Year. So 2024, lots of new things to do, lots of places to travel. So. Lots of videos coming up, so stay tuned and stay around the channel. It's been nice talking, guys. This is Bye bye.